international obligation of all of us to keep Ukrainian state. I should mention that uh, the Crimean crisis is, first of all, the national problem. And the national problem, uh, not, uh, it is not um, connected with the Russia exactly, it is connected with the mentality of Crimean people. Everybody is striving to find peaceful solution. Uh, we heard the message, Crimeans don't, don't want the war. Nobody wants the war, really, nobody wants. This problem, which now is facing Ukraine, we have to overcome it in peaceful way. I'm from Crimea and I'm Ukrainian. Um, there is one thing that unites all uh, the people from Crimea, all Crimeans, that uh, all of us, we don't want war. We are afraid of war, we are afraid of murder, we just want to live in a peaceful place. I will pray every day in the morning. And to tell you frankly, I am deeply impressed by two things by your knowledge of the complicated Ukrainian crisis and your concern for the peaceful solution and a resolution of the crisis. It's very funny that uh, to support this idea Russia tries uh, to save rights of Russian people in uh, Krim. Oh, that is a very good question, but long answer, which I cannot now. So nowadays we are being witness that uh, internal conflicts of Ukraine and Ukraine crisis already transferred as an international one. Russia was not violated. No Russian man or woman lost any one hair in, uh, in eastern Ukraine. No one Russian was beaten or, uh, uh, or lost something in Crimea. I think our university and yourselves are the best example. Coming from 10 and more different countries, we can talk together to understand each other better and find a good solutions to our problems. And that's the example that we set today at Vistula University. Thanks to you, let it be an example for adults, for politicians, how to solve this issue. Thank you once again and thank you for the panel for sharing your thoughts. Thank you.